the new simulations that we've been running are the most detailed and realistic simulations that have ever been done of a galaxy like our own Milky Way. The most important equation in the universe on large scales is gravity. Gravity pulls everything together. And the equation for gravity is pretty simple for a system like the Earth going around the sun. The problem is a galaxy, you've got 100 billion stars, not to mention all the gas and dark matter that you don't see. So we need to solve a simple equation, but do it 100 billion times over and over and over again. And that's what computers are really great at. We use the supercomputing facilities both here at Caltech, but also we use the national supercomputing facilities. So we can run them on thousands of computers at once. So for this particular simulation, we, we ran it using 2,000 computers all chained together. For a long time, there had been uh, a big mystery surrounding not just the Milky Way galaxy we live in, but all of the little satellite dwarf galaxies around the Milky Way. These are tiny, tiny little galaxies, much smaller than Milky Way. Previous models of how galaxies formed predicted that there should be thousands of little galaxies surrounding, swarming around our own Milky Way galaxy. And when we looked, we didn't see these galaxies. We have powerful enough telescopes now that we should have been able to find them. And people speculated that maybe this meant something was fundamentally broken about our understanding of the origins of the universe. And so that was the big problem. It was called the missing satellites problem because the, the models predicted you know, thousands of dwarf galaxies and yet around the Milky Way we only observed 20 or 30 of them. What happened? Well, in this simulation we actually found that there shouldn't be thousands. There should only be 10 or 20 of these systems. And the reason is if a supernova happens, if a star explodes inside one of these galaxies, there's so much energy contained in that giant thermonuclear explosion that it can basically destroy the galaxy. So you actually get the prediction that these galaxies started to form, but then they self-destructed because of the explosions of these supernovae. And that's what we also find in this simulation, is a lot of these dwarf galaxies that fell in and orbited near the Milky Way because of the gravitational tides, they got, they got torn apart. And so we find that the, the dead remnants, we call it the stellar halo, uh, around the Milky Way, a diffuse sort of cloud of stars, is actually the graveyard of all these dwarf galaxies that got torn apart. After the simulation ran, I was starting to make the plots and I sort of showed the distribution of dwarf galaxies and put it side by side with what we'd observed around the Milky Way and I saw that they were actually syncing up very nicely. That was an aha moment. That was the most exciting moment, at least for me, was seeing the success of this simulation in, in sort of addressing this long-standing mystery.